Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. Recently I noticed on RabbitEars.info reception reports, there were some premium channels usually on cable broadcasting over the air, including the Weather Channel, Hallmark Channel, and several others. It's got a few people very excited, thinking they get these channels for free simply with a next-gen tuner. However, that's not exactly the case. They're behind a paywall from a paid-over-the-air TV service known as Evaca, and the service is expanding. How will it impact free over-the-air TV as we know it? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the cord cutting and antenna community. I'm constantly posting new videos on antenna reviews, reception tips, and so much more. For those of you who don't know, a paid over-the-air TV service is pretty much what the name says. It uses an over-the-air TV signal and charges for most of the content. How can a company use valuable public TV spectrum meant for local channels and charge for it? Is it even legal? Paid over-the-air TV services actually are legal, and here's why. The FCC only requires a main.1 channel of any broadcast TV signal to be free and open to the public. In fact, it's been this way since ATSC 1.0 launched decades ago. Paid over-the-air TV services have existed in various forms. On TV launched a paid over the air TV service in the 1980s, but not much came of it. On TV now begins broadcasting its adults only movie tier. On TV subscribers who have not signed up for this optional service will receive a scrambled signal. The same thing happened with USD TV, which launched in several cities back in 2003, but the company filed for bankruptcy just three years later. Despite technically being allowed to charge a monthly fee, most local TV stations use the extra space in their spectrum that weren't the main dot one channel for free DigiNets like MeTV, Antenna TV, and Comet TV. Now, Ivaca is a bit different from failed, paid over the air TV services of the past, thanks to higher channel capacity with a new ATSC 3.0 next gen TV standard. This means that the company can offer close to a dozen high-definition channels compared to only a few channels in the past with ATSC 1.0. CEO Todd Achilles tells me the company plans to add the service in an additional 6 to 10 markets this year. Will this paid-over-the-air TV service replace some of the free sub-channels on local TV stations like MeTV? Probably not. Here's why. Ivaca seems to launch on low-power channels, usually on underutilized spectrum in a given market. For example, the low-power channels they use in Boise and Phoenix were never really utilized in the market. For now, it doesn't seem like Ivaca will launch on a full-power TV channel and take away free sub-channels viewed by many antenna viewers. If you want to learn more about the Ivaca paid-over-the-air TV service, I interviewed the CEO last year in a separate video. Click the card in the corner or follow the link in the description of the video to watch. Beyond Ivaca, I do see more paid over the air TV services taking off with the transition to ATSC 3.0 next gen TV over the next few years. It gives networks the opportunity to offer some of their co owned cable channels for a fee over the air. For example, Disney owned ABC stations might offer ESPN as a sub channel that can be picked up over the air for a monthly fee. Thanks to the additional channel capacity, I don't see impacting the existing sub-channels on a local TV station. A lot of revenue is generated from them, and local stations wouldn't want to give that up. Don't worry about paid over-the-air TV services like Ivaca replacing free over-the-air TV. They offer a great alternative to people who may not want to pay for an expensive streaming service for only a few cable channels. I really don't see them impacting free over-the-air TV channels, at least not for a very long time. Now, if the FCC sells more TV spectrum to cell phone companies, or if another event takes place, that's a different story. I'll address this in a future video of mine. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord, or if you just think they're cool and would like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. 
If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash AntennaManPA. If you're not on Facebook, you're going to like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos. Feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.